Reportedly, he hadn't been at the address for a long time and was assumed to be abroad. He has several ongoing conflicts and one hypothesis was that he was involved in the murder of Einar. And that he too, considering the murder that took place a few days before, dumbly, is subject to reprisals. Scar, 23 years old, is a person with great capital for violence. In the beginning, he was a bit of an errant boy in the Dallin gang. But pretty soon, he had to be responsible for the protection at larger meetings and be the one who was armed at these. He appeared to be the one in the network responsible for handling and moving the network's weapons. Soon it was clear that he began to act as a perpetrator in serious violent crimes, something that he seems to find satisfying and also sees himself a gun for hire. Scar has also acted as a bodyguard for the Greek, i.e. Michael Tenizos, both in Sweden but also when they went abroad. Scar is said to have carried out acts of violence on behalf of his own network, but also carried out missions for payment and other services for other networks allied with the Dallin network. Ilder is called Scar, which, among other things, police officers have heard friends call him. He has also marked his slippers with it when he has been detained for various crimes. The police authority's overall assessment is that Scar is part of a criminal network, Dallin, for organized crime. Scar is suspected of being, in addition to himself, a target for attacks during the conflict with the Kurdish Fox and Foxtrot. A hand grenade is thrown into the gate of the address in Enskedadalen, where he and his family lives. In addition to that, Scar is also suspected of being an active actor in acts of violence against the opposing side. After the attack on Scar, the conflict between Dallin and the Kurdish Fox is a fact. When the conflict between the gangs has been in full swing for a few months, in April 2023, a 25-year-old man who was connected to the criminal network Foxtrot is shot in central Omaha. The competing Dallin network is considered to be behind it and now charges have been brought for the attempted murder of Ost in the town of Omaha and the trial is ongoing during November. The prosecutors bring charges in a case where eight people are charged involved in a case of, among other things, attempted murder, serious drug offenses, and particularly serious weapons offenses. The police have singled out a 23-year-old man as the mastermind behind the shooting. He is suspected of inciting attempted murder, the incident is considered part of the incredibly intense and bloody conflict. According to the indictment, the business was controlled by the 23-year-old who stayed in Spain and the Netherlands before he was arrested in The Hague in the Netherlands. He is suspected of having sent a person to Umov to ensure that the shooting is carried out correctly. Of the eight defendants, seven are in custody and one person is at large. The 23-year-old who is suspected of being behind the shooting in Umoa is described by the police as driving a constellation that conducted drug trafficking in the city. When he was arrested in a pub at the end of 2022, he threatened both police officers and guards with violence. Say hello to the police chief that it's war now. He shouted among other things. The 23-year-old man is linked to the violent Dallin network. The man was charged in January with assault, attempted violence against an official, violent resistance, drug offenses, and unlawful threats. But the trial never took place. According to documents from the Correctional Service, the man had gone abroad and stayed away. On a picture in the preliminary investigation, you can see that he has published a picture of himself insulting the Kurdish Fox and Foxtrot. April 17, 2023 at 6.59 p.m., the police received a call regarding a shooting in Umar. A witness states that he heard three sounds which the witness interpreted as gunshots at the same time the witness saw a person collapse. At the scene, Patrick is found shot with several shots and in connection with the incident, witnesses observe and film a person leaving the scene on an electric scooter in an easterly direction towards the Abaca Strand area. The victim is shot with three shots, one shot with the entrance opening on the right side of the abdomen, one shot in the back on the upper side of the right shoulder, and one shot in the left hand. The victim then moved around the scene with several bleeding injuries, then stopped next to the garage where the paramedics found him. Two empty 9mm Luger casings were found at the crime scene. A bullet was found in the victim's shirt and two bullets were removed from his body. Information in the preliminary investigation states that the victim must have arranged a meeting with the counterpart each squared and that the whole thing must have been about drug deals. During the same evening as the shooting, an electric scooter that is similar to the electric scooter that has been seen in connection with the shooting. 
Overall, interest is directed towards a woman's apartment on Hot Pits Grand. A house search is made in the woman's apartment. Liam, one of the men's mothers, and two other women are found in the apartment. All are arrested. A few hours after the incident, Oliver Shiesty and Liam were arrested for suspected involvement in the incident. Shiesty is said to act as manager for the rapper Chapo under Shiesty's management. As well as the shooter, Liam and the rapper Chapo together previously convicted of an attempted murder together. Together and in agreement with three other men assaulted the victim and attacked him with several punches and kicks and in each case six stab wounds to the body. They were convicted of aggravated assault. Chapo mentions the stabbing in Skaleftia and the shooting in Umoa in two different songs. The witnesses heard bang bang and that someone collapsed. Of course it was my Browski, he shoots like an idiot. You will find us in flashback for some crimes we committed. All are considered to belong to the local grouping in Umoa that is allied with the Dallin network. The victim in the shooting is connected to the Foxtrot network. Shooter Liam and Oliver pose for a picture 33 minutes after Liam shoots the victim three times, leaving him to die. The police carry out a number of house searches after the arrest and on April 18th, a large amount of narcotics and several weapons are found on Bergargaton and on Texplan in Omaha. In connection with the investigative work connected to that case, a large number of phones are seized and in the analysis work of these phones, the police have identified a signal alias named Don Svensson who has a significant role connected to the investigation. Information has also emerged during the course of the investigation that several people in Oliver and Liam's circle have been involved in the acts in various ways. Through the investigative measures, it has also crystallized an image that John, the 23-year-old, has had a leading and controlling position in the handling from abroad. The victim survived the attempted murder, but in September 2023, he was arrested by the police task force. He was connected to a drug bust linked to a large seizure at a workplace in Umar worth 600,000 Swedish kronor in March 2023. Large sums of cash were also found in his apartment. The victim, Patrick, is sentenced to two years in prison by the Umar District Court for serious drug offenses. In questioning the accused shooter, who admits that he fired the shots, he described that he took a gun out of a jacket pocket from a distance of one meter to maybe two meters and fired three shots at the victim. He stated that he believed the gun broke because after the last shot the casing was not ejected from the gun. He could not fire any more shots after that. Oliver visits John aka Don Svensson on at least one occasion in Spain before the assassination attempt. He is singled out as the leader and mastermind behind the assassination attempt. There are several pictures from Oliver's stay in Spain in the phone. Among other things, there are pictures of a meeting with John, Robel, and the rapper Wafi from Sunsval from the same occasion. Rapper Wafi is linked to the Dalinavritnitz local and allied gangs in Sunsval. Through this, the police have made a collective assessment that these individuals are loyal to the Dallin network. The conflict between these networks is primarily about controlling the drug market in Vasterbotten. In connection with the attempted murder on April 17, 2023, two witnesses filmed when the perpetrator left the crime scene. The perpetrator was then wearing a black jacket. A similar jacket was later seized at his mother's workplace in a locker. After the shooting, the shooter fled to a nearby apartment. Among others, his mother was there. According to the indictment, she helped her son eliminate evidence, including by hiding his clothes in a cupboard at her workplace. The indictment states that police technicians found the shooter's DNA and gunshot residue in the form of detonator particles on the clothes in the cupboard at the woman's workplace. The defendants are Liam, 20 years old, the self-confessed shooter. Faces charges of attempted murder, gun possession, drug charges, and having explosive material. Oliver aka Shiesty, 21 years old. Faces charges of attempted murder, gun possession, drugs, and explosives possession. John aka Don Svensson aka Furioso Mafioso, 23 years old. Faces basically felony charges of weapons possessions and ordering the murder of Patrick, 